So what's going on toxic gamers today? We got another disaster to talk about we have one of the best triple a game out there This is one of the best in gameplay one of the best in story one of the best in Graphics like the graphics fidelity that you're about to see in this game is gonna be crazy This is a brand new supreme triple a sweet baby in game guys I don't think you guys are ready for this one a lot of people were caught playing this game We're gonna get right into it like the video if you think there are two genders Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Guys, listen, I'm not a savage. Gotta give everybody equal chances, okay? And salute to Captain BBC! <laughs> Gotta always salute to the homie, the Captain, the King BBC, okay? Shout out to Vera Dark. Looks like that sister about to go crazy. Roll it. Bandai Namco specifically bought Reflector Studios for Unknown 9 Awakening, and so far the game is a complete and utter disaster. Most of the reviews that are being left actually are from people who receive the product for free. The lead actress is going into interviews talking free? about how she simply thinks the game is diverse and she really doesn't understand the story, and the player numbers are completely abysmal. I okay, I forgot to mention this is one of the best diverse video game that a gamer can ever get let's make sure to not go more than 169 likes on this video let's stay around 168 guys you different things to show off but before i get into the topic if you enjoy the content i create check out the links in the description join the community in my live streams and consider supporting through patreon or youtube memberships now every single game that sweet baby ink touches is surrounded in some kind of controversy or is an epic failure they have not had really a lot of positive games under their belt besides spider-man 2 and god of war yeah, ragnarok yeah, yeah, yeah. but even those did face con damn Sister speaking facts right now. Damn, damn. Controversy. And now the next game on the block is Unknown 9 Awakening, and it is a disaster. I did end up starting the game. Damn game on live stream and it was terrible it was buggy it was glitchy the gameplay is extremely repetitive the areas are super linear and the game really just isn't fun <laughs> bro like she actually bought the game and actually played it bro you know what i'm saying <laughs> she actually streamed it too bro that is insane that is next level i even showed up for five minutes on her stream and the chat was hilarious bro that is crazy true gamer true gamer <laughs> Salute to sister, man. Sister out here. Sister based right now. Sister based. When you hear the cringeworthy woman empowered dialogue and the very generic, I'm looking for, you know, my teacher's story, it's just not a good experience in totality, but I still want to give it a try. It's only fair because I've talked about it, though it doesn't seem that many other people are actually giving this title a try because it is doing terrible. So on release day, the best numbers that they could muster were 169 people over Damn. on Steam. And surprisingly, it's gotten a little bit better if Damn. you consider 204. 245? Okay, guys, let's uh, up the light goal. No, forget about 168. Let's go to 244, okay? 244. Not gonna hurt a man. It's not gonna hurt anybody, okay? Let's go for 244 likes. 45 to be significantly better. This is all that they can get, and I'm sure over the weekend it might go up a tiny bit, but it's clear as day that this is not going to be some massive success, and this game is technically specified as a triple A experience. We do not know the budget, but we do know Bandai Namco went out of their way to buy Reflector Studios specifically for this game. It's rumored that they spent like $50 million on the studio and that this game had like a $100 million budget. That is not confirmed, though, and judging by what I played, I have no idea where that money would have went if what? that is actually the truth. But 245 people is extremely terrible. I mean, we've seen a lot of sweet baby failures on this channel that I've talked about, and this certainly. So they spent 50 million on it. Concord, uh, they spent 400 plus million, right? Just more <laughs> 150 plus thousand euros. But it's fine because that was taxpayer money. That was taxpayer money, right? <laughs> That is crazy. Really quickly, before I show you more stuff, guys, I got another clip that I want to share with you guys. If you guys are into UFOs, conspiracy content, content like that, definitely check out the second channel, Scary Reacts. We upload there every single day. If you guys do use Instagram, I would love to have you there as well. Right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo is one of the worst. I mean, it also only has 2,160 viewers right now over on Twitch. And hey, in my live stream, when you actually had the 169 people in game, I had nearly 900 people watching, which in my opinion is fantastic. That's primarily why... Stop flexing. Stop flexing. I play these awful games on the channel so you guys can see them but not spend your money. If I am buying one game for, in this case, $50, and 900 of you have decided not to purchase the title, that is costing this company thousands upon thousands of dollars, and that, in my opinion, is a fantastic experience i want to cost them money if their game is extremely bad and then you get to watch a live stream your curiosity <laughs> is satiated and you also get to save a bit of money but not only are the player numbers terrible but funny enough there's only 17 reviews right now sitting at mostly negative but if you really start paying attention most of them received the product for free so we're not even talking bumbleclad brothers bumbleclad for free and they still gave it a negative review what you suck us crazy bro 
It was free. It was for free. You, it was for free. You were supposed to give it a good rating, man. You were supposed. Damn. And I'm hearing. I'm hearing this right. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. That IGN. Uh, uh, IGN. Bruh. I, I, <laughs> I'm joking, okay? Uh, that IGN gave this game a 5 out of 10, okay? Damn, Lara kind of looking good, though. This is before they nerfed, uh, of course. Now Lara don't look like this, guys. Lara got Abby the Brock Lesnar treatment. I don't want to ruin your day if you have not seen the latest design, but I still want to ruin your day, so you know what? I'm just going to show you right now, okay? I'm just going to show you. But, yeah, I'm hearing that uh, IGN gave it 5 out of 10, and you want to know what's funny is that... Uh, let me actually uh, show you this. Uh, let's go with this one, okay? But what You want to know what's funny is that these suckers, IGN, these suckers have given 7 out of 10 to Dustborn. 7 out of 10 to Dustborn and 5 out of 10 to this Unknown 9 which is supposed to be the next gen premium, the best Sweet Baby Ink product, Sweet Baby Ink game to date. It's not Bandai Namco's product anymore, it's Sweet Baby Ink. As soon as you bring them over, it's Sweet Baby Ink. But yeah, this is the design, let me actually show you really quickly, okay? Like this is, this is crazy, bro. Like these suckers are insane, bro. So they actually gave her like a goodbye cartoon breast, hello sweet stain, <laughs> the feminist reinvention of Tomb Raider. Uh, I'll find it live once about people who first of all went out of their way to purchase this I highly doubt this game is even getting a lot of purchases besides the few hundred that we know are confirmed uh, at least on Steam it is on other platforms don't get me wrong maybe on Xbox it's doing amazing or PlayStation it's doing amazing I don't think so though typically the numbers are pretty close but even though they received this product for free they are saying that they regret it because it's terrible I mean they're also saying things like don't waste your money and I completely agree I mean there are some clips uh, on my you know socials where I'm playing it I also of course had live streamed it that live stream is up on the channel but here are just a few snippets of some of the major problems like right here as you can see i'm standing at this you know character's side wow. at this ai side and he shoots me even though i'm right next to him i'm not in front of him his gun is pointing in a completely different direction you can also see how the you know npcs are glitching through all of the architecture that's around there's one area where there are tons of characters which you would think oh hey wow that's cool maybe this area feels a bit more alive than the others but they literally copy and pasted some of the mobs 10 times i counted one that was 11 times it's just so disappointing honestly pathetic to see because this is a title that you really expected people to purchase but you thought yeah. that you could hand us trash which is so i mean listen so this is the design guys this is the the next gen lara craft okay look at that man damn bro like yeah so the lara that you know is gone okay the lara that you know is gone okay the lara is gone it's larry now it's lorenzo and these guys always do that bro like they always make my black homies gay bro they always do that i cannot be the only one that sees that man i am one more than making a black gay dude getting punched in the throat away from having a nervous breakdown guys like i swear to god man like I, these suckers crazy bro they always use lgbt people black people as shields for their crap bruh man damn these suckers crazy bro insulting and unfortunately there are so many developers within the industry right now who hate us who have no general respect for us and they think that they can sell us trash like this look at him he's moonwalking around this is so completely pathetic and it's it is sad to see because i want video games to release i want them to be amazing i don't want to sit here and say i want video games to fail because i don't i want the industry to thrive i would love if every single game that released was amazing but when they're feeding us this slop it's just not going to turn out well for them of course we don't get any fun experiences anymore and even you know this game has everything wrong with it from it technical problems like the you know characters moonwalking around them copy and pasting models over and over and over again some of the puzzles not working the way that you would expect things not activating properly the you know mobs shooting at you even though you're basically standing behind them and of course you have the awful writing keep in mind that kim belair the sweet baby Inc. co-founder is the lead writer on this game and it definitely shines through because the main villain is a white man you of course have Haruna, the lead character, going on about how she's an empowered woman. Like, it is an extreme cringe fest, and it's a very simplistic story that, in my opinion, does not need to exist. So this is just a title that is going to be forgotten in even a couple of weeks. Like, virtually nobody's playing it, even at- Damn, sister going crazy right now. Launch, which is Wait terrible for, for them. I show you and I bet right now, Bandai is panicking. They're also going through layoffs right now. They apparently, according to, you know, reports, Bumble have Club, games that have been canceled, and they have those employees sitting in empty rooms doing absolutely nothing during the workday, hoping that they will end up 
quitting. So Bandai, in theory, doesn't have to fire them, which is... that That's, like, insane, right? How many times we have talked about it? Like, in the last two, three videos, I, I feel like that this is a topic that I'm always bringing it up. It's like, yes, how stupid these companies gotta be, right? They're working on these games, projects for years and years. Then they're like, okay, let's get some guidance from Sweet Baby Inc. Let's pay them because they need to... They need, they're not gonna give us guidance for free. They have high IQ uh, guidance. I mean, damn, y'all sick is crazy. You let them come in and uh, you let them... Uh, you let them give you guidance, right? And then ultimately people are not buying your game, not pre-ordering your game, not playing your game. Then you see low numbers, player count, uh, sales, low everywhere. And then you do not make the money. You ultimately lose money and then you have to fire your devs. So Sweet Baby Inc., they ultimately are the reason why suckers are losing jobs. I mean, am I crazy to even say this? People are losing jobs because of Sweet Baby Inc. right now. These suckers are not creating jobs. These suckers are making people lose their jobs. To, from from the get go though, you know these like, suckers crazy. Shout out to the homie Rev says they shoot roll it. Wheat baby infested product Wait for it. is seeing the fruits of its labor and how Wait is it going? It. You Wait ask? For it. it is going terribly. In fact, the live player count right now is only a fraction of that of Concord after they launched only about a month ago. So before we get into the actual numbers, oh damn, she angry though. Here and some of the fallout related to this game, let's talk about how bad of a failure this is because Bandai Namco has invested a lot into this game yeah, and this the is future an this, of the related this is an update with for franchises. So back in 2020, they did exactly what PlayStation did with Concord. PlayStation purchase on Montreal Dev. I am in Montreal. <laughs> I apologize on their behalf, guys. I apologize on their behalf. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. These things are never. <laughs> These things always do that, man. These things, man. I'm one more them. I'm ha I'm already having a nervous breakdown, bro. Like bro. I, I don't care, man. Purchase I'm having a nervous Studios breakdown. I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown like that, bro. A quick buck on that acquisition, and that turned out horribly. And here we have Bandai Namco back in 2020 acquiring unknown nine developer Reflector Entertainment. And of course, this was a big gamble because it wasn't just this game. They were investing in an entire self-described universe, where the goal of Reflector is to make the unknown nine product something that is an entire universe with more games, comics, books, uh, even possibly movies, and so on and so forth. This is supposed to be a what? huge future investment into a booming what? franchise but it had one major flaw. Back in March of this year, it was discovered that this company and this game had a connection to Sweet Baby Inc. The Sweet uh, Baby Kiss of Death, no, if you will, because no. people discovered that in the entry credits of this game right on their own website, you can see David Bedard, the co-founder of Sweet Baby, as well as Kim Belair, who is the CEO of Sweet Baby, and that pretty much crippled any excitement for this game. In fact, the trailer released a few days before the official launch was absolutely brutalized on YouTube. You can see the like-dislike ratio. There's pretty much Bumble no Bumble. coming back from that when it's only... Damn, damn, that is insane, man. Like, toxic gamers, toxic gamers, right? <laughs> Man, gamers went crazy. It is absolutely is hilarious, and but this is sad though. This is sad, man. This is really sad. Like what what they've done to Lara Croft, bruh. They turned Lara Croft into Lorenzo, bro. Made her a man. It's like, damn, man. These suckers like, crazy. They always do this to my black homies as well, man. I swear to God, man. Like I said, I'm I'm seriously one more of them making a black gay dude getting punched in the throat away from having a nervous breakdown, guys. Bro, like th these suckers like, are crazy like that, bro. Damn, man, that is insane. But gamers, on the other hand, just going crazy right now. So I'm proud of gamers. I'm proud of cheers to the gamers, you know. Drink water. Drink water. Do 100 push-ups right now, guys. Because we ain't got no games to play right now, man. We ain't got no games to play right now. Days before wait. release. In fact, this game is so bad that even games journalists are not going to bat for it. Despite all the woke nonsense infecting this game, even they... Don't okay, I was not wrong in that, right? So iGen gave it a 5 out of 10. Desmorn was given 7 out of 10. <laughs> Make that make sense. Of course, you know this, like, IGN is never really gonna give, like, a real rating. But it, it's hilarious. It is funny when you see 5 out of 10 for this game and 7 out of 10 for, for Deathborn. Which, I and, and, and I'm gonna be honest, based off of what I have seen so far, I would say Unknown 9 is better than Deathborn. Okay? I, I'll say that. I'll say that. Seems, uh, am I gonna buy? Oh, hell no, nah, man. Hell no. Nah. Get, get mama with that crap, okay? Get mama with that, okay? But I have to be real, uh, this game slightly better than Dustborn. I mean, it, both of them are thirds, but one is less uh, third than the other one, if that makes sense. 5 out of 10, mediocre by IGN. 
And seven out of 10 for Dustborn. Don't want to support it. IGN here giving it a five. Just to give you an idea, they gave Dustborn a seven. So this game in their eyes is oh, actually oh, worse God. than Dustborn. And that is really saying Bumble something. Clouders. But I guess based on the collapse of the first trailer, they learned something because as the game was about to go live, they released the same trailer for the Japanese side of their uh, gaming base there. And you yeah. can see their official account with 1.8 million subscribers getting less than a thousand views in the first five hours. Damn. To give you an idea, this video will achieve that in the first few minutes. So the fact that with that many subscribers and a big launch like this on a major AAA release, they can't even break a thousand at that point, that is really sad. But like I said, it Yo, appears that they learned something from the other trailer because they... Yo, tranquilo, papi. Stop flexing, papi. Stop flexing, man. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Disabled the like-dislike section. Even though it is of technically course. private, of there course. are extensions that allow you to see the like-dislike <laughs> ratio just like you used to be able to for many, many years up until the recent change. But yeah, there was a lot of other developments going on around the time of release. We'd see Craig come out here and make another... Uh, rumor about his retail insider who has access to 800 plus big box stores claiming yeah. that the pre-order numbers of this game were abysmal a total of 46 pre-orders but 12 of them were canceled so it was actually like 34 pre-orders for this game 34 pre-orders over 800 stores that is oh man even like captain bbc received like more pre-orders right apparently we heard that apparently in, uh, across 900 stores captain bbc received like 800 pre-orders so less than one on average, but still 800 pre-orders, fiscal edition I'm talking about, the fiscal standard version of the game, right? Insanely low, but I mean 800 is 800, guys. 800 is 800! It is 800! So this one received 46 total pre-orders, but 12 were cancelled. So actually there were only 34, 34 pre-orders in over 800 st <laughs> stores. Yikes, oh man, oh man. Most of the gamers bought it digitally, you know? Most of the gamers bought it digitally. Really embarrassing. Yeah. And with these sorts the of insider artists, info that we've know? gotten before, they seem to be pretty accurate. Whenever he claims there's a certain number of pre-orders at these big box stores, they tend to add up pretty accurately. Except some people don't believe it. Entering from the shadows, Alyssa Mercante, she got a whiff of that tweet, and she would make her own response here with this interesting tweet saying, the Christ of fascist blog citing an aging YouTuber who lost all his old colleagues and friends because he's a dick and claims he has Best Buy insiders as a source for their latest article. My source is that I made it up. So there's a lot to unpack here. Uh, first of all, she's referring to that park place with this comment right here. And it's not too surprising that someone like Alyssa from Kotaku would be jealous of their site because they have a lot of respect from gamers and they're growing very quickly because they're willing to call out people in the industry. And that's something that Kotaku will never do because they don't want to call out people share their own agenda. And on top of that, unlike that park place, yeah. Kotaku and related sources like that have no respect from gamers and they rely on getting hate clicks, which at this point, they're so relevant. People don't even want to hate click on their articles anymore. And on top of that, she tries to criticize Craig by calling him an aging YouTuber. That's damn, very damn. interesting. Uh, unfortunately, very. we're all aging, which is a very weird thing. Like, I don't know. Yeah, bro, I'm pushing 30 right now, man. I'm pushing 30. We all getting older, man. We all getting older. You're going to get older, too. So, like, damn, that's like an aging YouTuber. You're aging, too. you aging, too. I feel like that you age more than the, that YouTuber, though. So, like, what the, what the hell? Like, that, that, that that's like your punchline? That That's like, say psych right now. Say psych right now. Alyssa is not like some 18 year old like we're all aging it's, it's odd to think that someone can't have an opinion on things because they're aging like it's kind of a strange Bruh. attempt there but it's just more desperation and with with age comes the wisdom you know what i'm saying with the age comes the wisdom on top of that she has a shout out shout out to all my grandpas watching this shout out to all my baby daddies out here shout out to all the daddies uh, daddies watching this video shout out to all the boomers shout out to all the 30 years old 20 years old 18 years old how old are you i, I don't know how old are you let me know how old are you in the chat but shout out to all of you out there that are on this video like the video guys but make sure to not go over 245 likes i don't want to uh, you know to get more likes on this video than the player count of the unknown night you feel what i'm saying, you feel what I'm saying? like I, I don't want that guys i don't want that i want that like the video guys like the video big issue with the best buy insiders claim and as it turns out to the shock of you i'm sure that claim about the pre-order seems pretty accurate based on the results but she would have also have this reply saying a whole bunch of things that uh i'm not reading any of this out loud but uh craig will I don't know, he's the one who wonders, I'm gonna be careful, who wonders about my mail on his videos, and man, man, this guy, oh, okay. Say a promo code Alyssa for $5 off your annual membership at therealgamewars.com, which is a pretty cool project if you want to check that out. But anyways, let's get to the results of this game. Well, as it turns out, Unknown 9 Awakening is a huge flop, and those pre-order numbers seem to track pretty well. So right now, as of recording this video, there's around just over 200 people in-game, and there is a overwhelmingly negative set of reviews right now, over... 57 negative reviews versus 16 positive. This game Let's is cease. really, really struggling. And on top of that, you can see this is from the first 10 or so hours of the release, and they couldn't even hit 200 in the first 10 or so hours. And that is a really... Im okay, so at least they beat... Yeah, this is what I wanted to double check, right? At least they beat this one. They, they could not beat Concord, though, because Concord was like a phenomenal game, according to them. According to them, guys, according to them. Bruh. It was a phenomenal game, right? 
four players enjoying the game. Nah, it's not four people playing the game, guys. What, what are you guys talking about? It's four people enjoying the game right now. You feel what I'm saying? You could be enjoying the game too, but you choosing not to play, man. Damn, y'all sick as crazy, man. I blame you guys, man. I blame you guys right now, man. Damn, y'all sick as crazy, man. You could have been enjoying Unknown 9 too, man. <laughs> like these 165 people at one point. Like, oh, Man, you guys are not in you guys don't want to enjoy games by the looks of it guys like you guys crazy man Embarrassing you know, let me let me blame you guys like how these companies I'm, I'm joking around come here let me show you some No homo though, no homo. Number, especially when you also consider, according to people who have reviewed this game, apparently it only takes about 10 hours to complete this game on normal difficulty. So basically, if you do the math, you're paying about $5 per hour to play this game and then run out of things to do in about 10 hours. Like, that's crazy. That's not worth the $50 price of this game. And since then, this morning, the player count has risen to a staggering 257 player wow. peak. And wow. even that, to me, feels very artificially boosted. And the reason for that has to do with these discoveries by some users like this. So the game was redeemable with the purchase of a new AMD graphics card and was sent for free to thousands of new GPU users. There we go. Yes, that is a real claim. Because if you look at the Steam reviews right now, almost all of them have one thing in common. If you look at this section right here, product received for free. So a lot of people are customers <laughs> of those related products Yo. and they got unknown 9 and, and they recommend not recommended. They're giving it a non recommend. That's crazy, man. Gamers find everything though. Guys, recently we had PS5 Pro gameplay and GTA 6 gameplay leaks going around. I made a dedicated video on it. I think you guys are gonna like this one. Check out this video on the screen. A lot of new information. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left and I'll see you right there.